So let's come to the optimized approach to solve this problem. The approach would, would, which would be accepted in the GFG portal. So in this, what we have to do, we have to design three variables named as jump, step and maxi. Now jump stores our answer. Stores our answer in the sense the answer we have to return. All right. Step stores number of steps we can walk forward right now. Like how much do we have in hand to move forward? Stores number of steps we have in hand. And maxi stores the maximum reachable string uh, index. Maximum index. I'll explain you what does that mean. All right. For example, the test case given to us was 13589 267689. 13589267689. All right. I am saying firstly check if the array length is 1, return 0. If the array length is not 1 and the array first element is 0, return minus 1. That is our base case. I don't need to write them again and again, I think. Now, then, initial step as ARR 0, the first element. All right. And jump as 1. Because if the first two base cases have failed, we would have to take one jump necessarily. All right. So jump is equals to 1. Now, I am saying and initialize our third variable maxi as 0 right now. Because we have not taken any jump right now, so we have to take a maxi as 0. Now I'm saying that for int i equals to 1 up till i less than n, i plus plus. Now i here specifies the position of the person who is jumping position of person or monkey if you want to like so if you want to say okay okay now if position that is i equals to equals to n minus one just return the number of jumps no tension okay but what if the number of jump uh, but uh, what if i is not equals to one by one okay for that we have to update a maxi Max is max of the, uh, the already maxi and i plus arri. Understand what, are these, what, what it tries to say. For example, the array here is 1, 3, 5, 8, 9. Now, if I am standing here at this element, the index is 1 here, 1 plus 3 gives me the maximum reachable index from here 1 3 5 that is uh, 2 3 4 it can reach here only so 1 plus 3 gives 4 so from this position i can reach maximum here all right but from this position i can reach maximum to 7 so my maximum reachable index is 7 now that is why i'm taking the max okay now after each step um, after each index, I have to step minus minus. Like if I'm traveling, starting traveling from here, I have got one step in hand. I move forward. I update my maxi, and because I move forward, I reduce my number of steps. I think I'm clear right now. Okay. Now if step is minus minus, I will have to take the jump. Correct. So if step is zero. First of all, jump plus plus because there is no other option than to take a jump. All right. Now, what if I have surpassed the maximum reachable index? Like my i is greater than maxi, is greater than equals to maxi in this sense. 
if my i is greater than equals to max c, I have surpassed the index I have to reach. I have to surpass the index that is max that was maximum reachable. That means I cannot uh, reach the end of the array. So in that case, I have to return minus one. I think I have understood here. All right. Otherwise, else step is equals to max c minus i. At last, if this statement has not been executed, then only the state, then only the loop will last and it will come here. Else it will return the function from here itself. So if the state this statement has not been executed and the loop was going up till i equal to n minus 1, that means the person was not able to reach the end, uh, end of the array, and that is why the answer is return minus. I think you have understood. Let me write the code, test it, then I will explain you the code meanwhile. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm writing the base cases now. So n equal to equal to 1, return 0. Else if AR0 equal to equal to 0, uh, return minus 1. Okay. Now initialize the three variables we need step equals to 0, step equals to ARR0, the first element of the array, max c equals to 0, and uh, jump equals to 1, because in the starting we have to take a jump, so jump is needed to be 1 at least. Now, for it, i equals to 1, i less than n, i plus plus. The base case here is, if i equals to equals to n minus 1, return jump. Else update your maxi maxi i plus here are i. After that step would be reduced. But if step has gone to zero, then increment your jump. Or if i but if i is greater than maxi, that is the position has surpassed the maximum reachable index that is not possible that means return minus one there has been a glitch that is not possible so it has to be minus one only okay try to understand it tactically i know it is a tough problem to understand but try to understand if maximum reachable index is smaller than the position that is the position has left the array too soon before maximum reachable index has reached that means that is not possible right for a uh, particularly well example suited array so that is why we have to return minus 1 in that case because that is not possible and if that is happening there has been a glitch somewhere that is why we are returning minus 1 okay so but if that is not the case we have to return uh, we have to assign a number of steps again so that it can move forward 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 what is the maximum number of steps that would be equal to max minus i i hope i am clear okay but return minus 1 here because of the what if if this statement is not executed and this loop has been exited that means that it has not reached the maximum uh, it, it has not reached the end of the array and we have to return minus 1 in the case let's try for submit also it has been working thank you for thank you for your time uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video your support would be appreciated. Thank you.